PC, accounting for your future. Hi, this is Steve from APC, and I'm the mentor for the uh, OBU BSc in Applied Accounting in 2015, together with my colleague Janice. And we will be delivering the high quality surveys in order to help you to succeed in your project for the first time. And in this video, we're going to talk about what you should do in order to uh, succeed in the exam, uh, to succeed in the project, I should say. So, we've got this study notes here in front of you. So let's look at the section one must do, okay, in order to succeed. So first part is that you should not exempt from the ACCA paper F7 to the F9. You should attend those exams in order to have, uh, I mean, in order to be available to, uh, I mean, apply for this degree. Of course, you can uh, pass or get exempted from the F1 to F6, that's no problem, but F7 to F9, you have to do that on your own. That's the first thing you have to do. Secondly, you have to do your language tests. There'll be lots of other uh, language uh, qualifications in the marketplace, uh, such as the IELTS, such as the TOEFL, such as the BEC. I mean, any one of them, of course, you can use that uh, to prove that your English is okay. But if you haven't got any qualifications at all, but you have passed the ACCA paper F4, that is absolutely fine. So if you pass the paper F4, you can use that pass result to prove your, to prove your language is okay. So that's the second of our condition of the must do. The third of our condition of must do is to complete your PEM, which is the Professional Ethics Module. Professional Ethics Module uh, shows that you are ethical, you are, the, you are the ethical accountant, so you need to complete that online. So how are we going to complete that? Of course, you can get assets to my ACCA account, or to the ACCA Global website. And once you click on those, of course, you can see on the left hand side, you, you can see the professional ethics module. You can, uh, I mean, you have to pass this module uh, not only are you going to learn all those videos, all those uh, flash, uh, I mean, tests within that module, but also you need to pass the uh, final exams set out by the module as well. It's the two parts within the module you have to watch out. So, the PEM, if you want to submit your, uh, I mean, your task in the uh, uh, 2015, of course, firstly, you have to complete this module before 31st March 2015. That's very, very important that you need to do that. And maybe you have a question, well, Steve, the professional ethics module, I haven't studied the P1 before. Can I pass that? Of course you can, because ACCA has provided you with all of this help within the module, step by step, teaching you uh, how to become an ethical accountant. So you're going to watch those uh, videos and flashes. Of course, you can pass this module relatively easily. So, the fourth one that we're going to do in order to succeed in the project is that we're going to deal with this five aspect. Absolutely important five aspect. The most important aspect is the RAP, which is the Research and Analysis Project. You are given 20 topics by the ACCA. You can choose one of them. That's just that. 7,500 words as a maximum. You cannot exceed this word limit. Of course, in the next part of this video, we're going to talk about how we're going to structurise our project. How we're going to structurise this particular report. And for each of these reports, you cannot exceed the maximum word limit as well. So not only going to deal with the RAP correctly, also going to show the SLS, which is the Skills and Learning Statement. So in the Skills and Learning Statement, it's just a statement saying that you are contacting with our mentor what you have learned from the process. This is the first one. 
and secondly what you have learned from preparing the RAP project. So second two parts should be included into the SRS statement here. The maximum word 2000. Thirdly you also have to upload the reference document which is the direct quotation. Of course we're going to talk about what do I mean by direct quotation etc in the next of our video. That's absolutely important because it shows that you are copying the work from the uh, from the people before. So you have to quote the work. It's belonging to, to those people, not belonging to you. Okay, so that's what I mean by reference. But also some of the appendices, such as the financial statements that you've been used, uh, you can download that from the uh, company's website directly. Of course, uh, you have to upload the appendix document uh, showing those financial statements that you've used as well. Of course, finally, you have to show a PPT because you do not have to go to the Oxford Box University on your own, but all you need to do is to show that you have done the work and you're going to present the result to your audience. So that rather than going into the Oxford Brox University, but right now you're going to show just the PPT, it's the PowerPoint, just to show the key summary of your work to those audiences. So that is a must. Okay, so of course we're going to tell you how we're going to prepare the PPT in the later sections as well. So those are the five aspects that we need to do in order to pass this project. And the fifth one is you have to pay for the fees. The fee is one ninety one UK pound, but this fee may be, may be subject to change by the ACCA, and you have to watch out when you upload that. So, of course, we're going to look at the submission dates for the project as well. They, uh, I mean, you cannot exceed 31st March 2015 to complete your PEM, which is the ethics module that, that we just talked about. So if you uh, exceed this particular date, you cannot submit your project in this particular period. You have to wait for another. And the early submission dates for the RAP, which means those five aspects before is on 1st May 2015 and the latest date is on 20th May 2015 and you can get your result whether or not you pass it or not pass it and the degree of your uh, of uh, I mean and the, and the grade of your degree is on 23rd September 2015 as well of course uh, how are we going to submit your work of course uh, open up your study notes and you can see the link there, uh, linking to the Oxford Brox University. You can submit all of your work, submit all those five aspects, five documents using that link. And then, uh, I mean, it's up to the examination team in the Oxford Brox University to examine your project and making sure that whether or not you can pass or not on 20, September 2015. Okay, so that's just the introduction of the must-do of this section one of this video, and we complete this section. APC, accounting for your future.